guys thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video it's the latest on trend with your girl the yummy big up Wow, 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 guys. Imagine the grin on my face because last night's episode, hmm, which Love Island have we been watching, please? This is the Love Island we have been waiting for. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Yesterday, I was left feeling very emotional. I felt like crying for Abby. I didn't even realize I was this much of an emotional person, but I really am. I was legit like, wow, wow, Toby. You really done that to me. And he didn't even do it to me, but I was like, you really done that to me. I actually took it personally. I was like, you actually done that to me. You actually came back. And the way he was just like, and you know, I thought there'll be some beautiful boys. I was thinking you meant to say <laughs> beautiful women. That's really what you were trying to say. But anyways, rewind. Let's go back to the beginning. Um, where do I even start to be honest because so much happened Hugo is really tucking in there it was time for the boys to return back from Castle and Moore to the main villa Jake catches Liam in the act with Lily kissing and my guy's acting shocked why was Jake acting shocked please Dale tells Chloe he's got his eye on someone else wink wink Faye. Faye after all of what happened she was like listen I'm gonna get to know the new boy. She's cracking on. It seems like she's better suited with this new guy to be honest. I was a bit annoyed. I mean I, I am still annoyed about what Love Island did because they actually did um they actually did Teddy dirty but you know what that was a blessing in disguise because clearly Faye really really wasn't into him like that. I suppose Teddy was a bombshell and she had to secure a place and she settled you see that's what happens when you settle when you settle yeah you're never really really settled inside you got me like because when somebody's gonna come along that is more you your head is definitely gonna turn moral of the story is do not settle ladies and gentlemen let's not settle go for what you want exactly what you want you know don't don't just don't just take any tom dick and harry and be like do you know what that would do because no one else is giving me attention here because now look teddy's gonna come back empty handed i don't even think she's gonna care at this point but i do think when they will have a chat she is gonna feel a bit guilty or at some point she will feel guilty because she will actually see the truth now recoupling happens finally we see laura after years of her being in isolation i know she's just had a baby but she looks great she looks great so she finally comes in and it is recoupling time and i knew i knew love island was gonna give us a cliffhanger they were gonna leave us hanging at the edge of the cliff i knew it but it's all right it's okay because it is keeping us tuned in and it has revived we have seen a revival happening right now and it's sweet i'm not gonna lie it is sweet they have heard the complaints of the people and they are serving us the dishes that we desire yes and yes and yes now let's talk about the cockroach tobias cockroach tobias all right i don't even know what to call him listen he is giving us entertainment yes he is literally love islanding as in the guy has took the position and he is serving it like he is dishing it he is taking it you see them people in the workplace yeah that they're literally like the same position as you but then they act like they're the ceo that's Toby. Toby's like, listen, I want to show you guys how to love Ireland. Do you get what I mean? He is showing us, mate. And surprisingly, he is actually quite liked on the outside. He is actually quite liked. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so all over the place. So Liam kisses Lily finally. I felt bad for Liam. I don't know why. My heart just kind of felt like I, I felt like I could feel his heart pounding through my screen. But he did say some really dumb stuff. Like he had to do this to make sure that he's actually wants uh Millie. Those boys, oh my days, those boys really, really get on my nerves. Is that legit how boys go on? Like they are actually exposing how the mandem go on. Mandem, is this actually how you lot go on? You lot encourage each other like this. No wonder 
See, we keep saying this, men don't hold each other accountable, then when men want to be like, we do, we do, we do, we've just seen, the proof is in the pudding, we have just seen in 4K how men do not hold one another accountable. Liam has literally said, his heart says Millie, his head says Lily. He literally said he can see a future more with Millie than he can with Lily. Isn't that enough to tell you where his heart is at? But you're still encouraging the guy. You're still saying to him, do you know what? I've never seen you this happy. I've never seen you this alive, this bubbly. Well, obviously because you're in a candy shop, duh. But is candy going to be good for you? No, it's not going to be good for you. And then Tobias trying to be like, you need to be true to yourself. I just told you what my true self is saying what are you talking about i'm done with these boys like seriously these boys yeah have literally given me trust issues because i'm just like rah that's what you lot do yeah no wonder you lot just cheat left right and center no accountability we've just seen it let my rant finish <laughs> sorry about the rant people oh my god okay let's quickly talk about chloe getting pied i've never seen somebody get pied so much in my life which is very surprising because she's you know blonde she will be deemed as quite fit to some people listen beauty is an eye of the beholder so i'm not even going to object that she was all the guys favorite at one point so i'm very surprised that she's not bagged a man i i think is her personality or her behavior her mannerisms i think maybe that's what it is Firstly, it's Chloe's turn. Obviously, she chooses to recouple. Then Hugo comes in with the new babe. I knew that was going to happen. Next is Abby. Tobias comes in. comes in recoupled up he's rude you know he's actually disrespectful it's actually mad i'm nervous i can't lie i am nervous of what is gonna happen because we know how this is gonna go down in it do you know what i'm still torn of what liam is gonna do because a little part of me still feels like he's gonna come back alone i feel like he should follow his heart i feel like he is mature enough to know the difference i'm gonna say he's gonna come back alone even though my head wants to say he's gonna come back with lily just to cause just because of the drama just because now i know love island orchestrates drama but i want to say that he he's gonna come back alone and do you know another thing that was annoying as well was when he was saying that whole thing about never seen liam so happy blah 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 tear tear You've only just come in the villa, mate. What are you talking about? Like, you've only just been there two days or whatever. You mean to tell me that in them two days, you're going to comment on a couple that you've not seen from the beginning? Like, please, 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 please. But you know what is even going to make it even more tasteful? Is the fact that nobody's going to get dumped yet. So they all get to live in that space. And the drama. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. Oh. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. How are you guys feeling about Matthew and Kaz? Matthew was proper rubbing up, caressing that bonnet boy. Ah, wow. Someone was like, he's definitely been there before. Like, he knows what to do. He's not struggling, like, where is my hand supposed to be? Why is there no hair to stroke? He's like, nah, I got this, man. I got this. I really, really want... It to be genuine because do you know who they remind me of? Um, Love is blind. What's this guy? What's that? What are they called? This couple, I can't remember their name, but I'm gonna put their picture up. I actually want this to work. Clarice, our good sis, she, she knows like she knew the assignment. Clarice is playing these guys like ping pong, mate. She's got them wrapped up around her little finger. She's definitely coming back. I can't believe Teddy is still going there. And the audacity of Teddy to be like, I don't trust you. Mate, you don't trust yourself. When he said that, that proper rugged me off the wrong way because I was like, typical of men, again, not taking accountability. You don't trust yourself around Clarice, okay? You said it yourself. She's the, She brings up the bad boy in Teddy and 
you don't want that you you're trying to be stay faithful to a woman who she's long gone mate she's moved on but obviously you don't know that trying to twist it around saying she's not to be trusted what kind of foolishness is that i can't believe he was still thinking about her the girl has literally been bed hopping one minute she's in um teddy's bed the next minute she's in tyler's bed it's like babe but i'm here for it <laughs> I'm here for it now because I'm like, girl, you you got this. You got this, mate. Maybe you need to take on Sama as an apprentice because I don't know what she's doing, but you need to help a sister out. You need to be like, babe, come on. Because, baby, she's joined camera crew at this rate. Like, she's probably in the kitchen somewhere because you know they make their own breakfast, but they don't make their own dinner. She's probably just like, do you need a hand? Like, they've recruited her okay backstage crew have recruited her because we don't even get to see her i mean guys when they showed the bedroom picture look at summer where is she someone was like i bet this is pillows under there she's probably doing night shifts because this is embarrassing i feel embarrassed for her because i'm just like babe like where's all the sass like where's all the vim like where's all of it i don't even know who to blame because i'm like do you speak like uh uh but yeah guys this is um it's gonna be very interesting it's gonna be very very interesting i am very much looking forward to it let me know your predictions your thoughts let's conversate oh oh my god i can't do you know what my heart can't take this level of emotional like adrenaline pumping through my body like i actually can't but yeah, we'll see what happens. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you guys are notified whenever I post.